A ninth person has tested positive for coronavirus in the UK. Uh, the woman flew into London from China and was tested after developing symptoms. Uh, the man at the centre of the main outbreak in the UK, Steve Walsh, a businessman from East Sussex, has now been discharged from hospital after being given the all-clear. He would caught the virus on a business trip to Singapore. The World Health Organisation says the number of new infections in China is stabilising, but it's too early to say if the epidemic is past its peak. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, has more details. Tonight at St Thomas's Hospital in central London, the ninth patient with the coronavirus in the UK is being treated. A woman who flew into Heathrow from China recently, she didn't have any symptoms when she arrived. Another patient, meanwhile, was leaving the same hospital, Steve Walsh, after a full recovery from the virus and no longer contagious, according to the NHS. He'd contracted it in Singapore and then unwittingly infected 11 others. One of them is a GP who worked two days last week at Worthing Hospital. That doctor's now being treated in isolation elsewhere. The hospital's still running, but some patients are concerned. So my husband took my son over to A&E on Friday night, um, and I just want to check that my son didn't come into contact with the health worker, because obviously you just never know, do you? I think everyone's panicking, and I think there needs to be more in the media to, to say, you know, don't panic. You know, yep, it, it's serious, but we're dealing with it. Some local parents have asked to take their children out of school. What do you say to people? I asked Public Health England if they could reassure people in Brighton and Worthing. There is not a general risk to people either in schools or in uh, any other kind of facilities uh, just because there happens to have been somebody with this infection in that area. Uh, so I can reassure on that point. If children need to be out of school, uh, that's because we've told them the latest case means there are nine in the UK, while more than 1,700 people have tested negative here. There are more than 44,500 confirmed cases in China and around 1,100 deaths. At the moment, it's still entirely possible that we may be uh, in a position where the Chinese authorities manage to get on top of this uh, infection. The biggest risk to us is actually if the efforts in mainland China don't succeed in maintaining the infection and restricting it to China and if many other countries then have widespread outbreaks of infection. Meanwhile, people quarantined at Arrow Park Hospital in Wirral will tomorrow complete their 14-day isolation. I'm very, very pleased to announce that each and every one of us, the 83 people that were on that first evacuation flight from Wuhan, have tested negative for coronavirus. So we're coming home. Government sources say there's no reason for public concern about people leaving quarantine and have appealed for their privacy to be respected. Hugh Pym, BBC News. Well, at the World Health Organization in Geneva, doctors, scientists and global health experts have been discussing their approach to the coronavirus outbreak. We can talk to our global health correspondent, Tulip Mazumda, who's there for us. Um, Tulip, given the news from China, the possible stabilization of figures there, what conclusions have been drawn there in Geneva? Well, scientists here over the last two days have been really poring over all the data that's been coming in from the start of this outbreak. Uh, they are saying, and it's very early days, that it looks like the outbreak could be stabilising, but that is just a snapshot of what's been happening over the last seven days, and that could change at any time. But it is at least a positive trend for the moment, and the World Health Organisation has talked about how this creates a uh, window of opportunity to, as it calls it, hammer this virus over the country coming days and weeks. And that's what we've seen uh, scientists really trying to get to the nub of uh, here. They are trying to prioritise what research needs to happen, what needs to happen to make sure that this outbreak doesn't become a global pandemic. What they say urgently needs to happen, one of the first priorities, is coming up with a better diagnostic test. Um, at the moment, you've got to send samples off to a lab. They come back. It takes time. What doctors in China say they urgently need is a test that you can do in someone's home or in a local health centre, and you can get the results uh, very quickly. Um, the other thing that scientists are looking at is how effective these quite extreme measures that we've seen in China of quarantining entire cities actually is. It hasn't been done on this scale ever before. Uh, early evidence suggests that it has actually been quite effective, but this is an outbreak of firsts and scientists are continuing to learn new things about it every single day. Tulip, many thanks again. Tulip Mazumdar there with the latest uh, in Geneva.